You might see a familiar sight right there. For the bus teeth in the description below. Tell me you're in the desert without telling me you're in the desert. Seems to get that's something that's a downside about tiny living. I have got to show you this framling. What's going on guys? As you can tell, I am in the van. Um, I am finally making that long awaited trip down to Southern Arizona. I really don't have a whole lot of a plan. My goals are, I think I found a place to consign the van. So I'm headed to Arizona. It's Thursday afternoon, so I'm gonna drive as long as I can, stay the night somewhere, and then make the rest of the drive back in all the way, all the way into Tucson tomorrow. I do got a little work I do need to get done on the van. I am the main objective is to deliver the batteries. But I do want to get the van worked on, get it finished up, and I maybe have found a consigner to drop it off in Phoenix. So drop the van off in Phoenix pop a plane back to here. So yeah, the start to all of that. A lot of miles to cover, but you know, we'll do the best we can and uh, get there when we get there, as always. So excited. Hey, family, how are you? You're on the road with Kyle currently, and um, I bet you're having a blast. I hope he has a much needed time away by himself. Um, the kids are a little disgruntled today because we're cleaning out bunks and we want to get the bus deep cleaned but the rule is if they are inside they have to help clean or they have to be outside <clears throat> playing doing something and I will clean the bus either way their choice and it's lunch so I've got a meeting at 3 p.m. so you and I are gonna do the meeting I'm Molly's over I'm here gonna... cleaning her yeah. bunk I have been um, kind of like decluttering each area of the bus this week and so I did the kitchen and all of that yesterday so over the next couple of days I'm gonna be decluttering things because we're gonna be moving into Daisy really soon and so if we want to move in I want everything to be already sorted in its spot that way we just have to come to the bus pack everything up in the totes put them in the u-haul and drive down to do I want what? Those glasses. Are you wearing gloves to clean your bunk? Um, yeah. I'm very germaphobic. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Uh, no, I'm okay if you want to donate know. donate the glasses. They, the bejeweled kind of, but didn't. Anyway, let's get to work. Your, uh, your bunk is looking great, ma'am. Oh, yay! The whole purpose of the great bunk clean out of 24, um, you can put it in the sink, my hands are full baby, um, is because I'm looking for silverware, we've run out of silverware, so Molly is diligently cleaning her bunk, and then I think she's going to clean Ben's, they made a deal. Yes, because I'm in debt with him, so I have to work off your debt. <laughs> Alright, and then me and Eli are going to come back here, and uh, all part of stuff I got to clean, and then me and Eli are gonna color before my meeting at three. Um, yeah, you can hang it on the fridge. It's oh, really man, good. That, one, that one's, I love it, babe. Oh, Victorian. I could, oh, I could finish that one. I was working on that one. It's, oh, that is Victorian. I finished Victorian. So here is our accommodations for this evening. As you can probably maybe see peeking over that uh, 
refrigerator container there. We are stopping at the Cracker Barrel here in Las Cruces, New Mexico today, or I guess it'd be this evening. I actually went in there just a little bit ago and grabbed a bite to eat real quick. And uh, But yeah, we're going to stay here. We're in Las Cruces. I ended up, I usually don't go this way. I usually cut across Hatch all the way over to Deming, New Mexico. But I wanted to stay at Cracker Barrel because one, there's a Walmart right across the street, which I just went to. And nice well-lit parking lot a hotel right there so yeah nice little spot there's one other van over here as you can see to my right and there's a class c on the other side of these two shipping containers here but we'll go ahead and get a uh, set up and get the van secured for the evening and i'll pop back in with you guys all right so i got my window covers on up here up front i got my two side windows which are great those are custom made for this van you got a reflectix thing up there and actually i bought a little uh curtain don't don't judge me too harshly a little janky but we uh, had removed all the curtains for the side, win the side window here on the driver's side and of course the slider side. So I ended up buying some of these clamps right here and a couple of these cheap panels right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw one up here on the slider too. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, but we'll figure it out. I think I can attach right here on this cabinet. This door has always been a bit tricky because it moves and you don't want to move it to where you can't access it. So, but I think this might work out pretty good. I'm going to try and clip it right there maybe. Oh, there's not really a whole lot to clip to. Hmm. Maybe that'll hold. If so, that'll it kind of work out pretty good. So yeah, pretty secured there. And I'm going to take a couple of these pillows and shove there in the back window and that should uh get us pretty secure in here we're private we're secure but that should give us a little more private okay family the time has come for me to do what i'm not looking forward of doing making frozen meals making any sort of dinner i don't like making dinner um you You're know making, i make never really i was never really taught how to cook a kid yeah i'm gonna make a salad for me are you wanting a salad no okay. i don't know no um i'm gonna make my own salad but in any case, tonight, <laughs> frozen enchiladas? Does that not look just delectable, friends? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, it is what it is. It's going on bake for 45 minutes, preheating it to 375. You know what? It is what it is, and I asked Kyle to, normally we wouldn't have this many processed meals, right? But... With everything going on, trying to take care of the house, the kids, um, opening the bus teak this week, which I'll have more information about that. Not this, but yeah, you have already seen this, but the bus teak is open um, at this point when you're seeing the video, I think. No, it is not. It opens up on Monday. I'm trying to think of what, yes. So this particular video will come out on Sunday and the bus teak, I'll have Kyle put a link in the description. It's my new little hobby, my little thrifting, thrifting hobby that I'm doing. How How is your day with Kyle, by the way? Are you having a blast with him? I bet you are. Um, we're having a pretty good time here. I think um, Ben is actually taking over walking the dogs and feeding the dogs. And Eli is going to take over Ben's chore of... What does Ben do? Uh, trash. Trash. So Eli is going mm. to do the trash. And you're going to come to our bedtime routine with us and see what we do as a family of... Four, while Kyle's out adventuring, having such a great time. Um, I got some kind of good news today, but you're going to have to wait. Oh you're going to have to wait a little bit to hear it. I want to have it all come together before. I, I made myself a delicious bagged salad. And the kids' enchiladas are, in fact, ready. Just did bad dad buy sour cream? Um, we have the dairy-free sour cream. No. Oh, bone apple tea. Who said bone apple tea? Bone what were appetite. we watching? But no, I know it's bone appetite, but somebody said bone apple tea. Anyway, so here's the uh, delicious, cheesy chicken enchiladas. I believe it's chicken enchiladas. You sound very not happy. I mean, I'm not eating it, but <clears throat> what do you think about it? It's better than what I would have cooked if it's if I tried. It's better to... than food poisoning. You know, <laughs> I'm not that bad. Do you want a bowl or do you want a plate? Plate. And a fork, please. You just want one? Yeah, I just want for right now. Congratulations, Ben. Would you like an enchilada? <laughs> Eli, do you want an enchilada? 
we'll do a quick little walk around. Uh, you can't, I don't think you should. You can see a little bit of the light there at the top of that. But yeah, you got the side panel there, and then that one's completely blacked out. That worked out really good. So really all we have now is these back windows, which I should be able to shove a couple of pillows in there to kind of minimize that. Then we have our slider one over here, which you can see a little bit of daylight there at the top, but the most part, it's pretty much blacked out. Not super proud of having Starlink up, but it's literally eight o'clock and I'm not ready to go to bed yet. So I'm watch some, watch a little bit of TV. But yeah, I think we're uh, looking pretty good for the night. Well guys, I'm all uh, up in the bed. <clears throat> I've been listening to a little bit of music, talking to Jen. About to throw on some YouTube and lay down and try to get some sleep. Got a, another long drive day tomorrow. I believe I'm around four hours away, something like that. Three and a half, four hours. But not too bad. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. And uh, no, we didn't do a whole lot today, but pretty much drive. Uh, maybe do a couple fun things tomorrow, but uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. I've got to I gotta show you this. Miles, don't forget to put your boots away in the right spot, baby. I have got to show you this. Framley. Hang on, I hope it shows up. Look at that moon. Oh my goodness. Look at that moon. It is just beautiful. Shed? Eli! He, what? he can't reach it, buddy. Oh, did you, did you shut the shed? Did you shut the shed? Mom? Can you run out and shut it for me? You got it cleaned up, Eli? Oh, Mom? You got it cleaned up? Yeah. Um, no, 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 we're not going there yet. Nope. I no, in for water. Okay. Well, there's water right out here, buddy. Wait. Hey, family. It is nighttime. The kitchen is all clean, living room is all clean. Theodore is uh, posted up in his spot down there. Kevin's coming in to patrol. Everything is cleaned over here. And now me and the kids are gonna play a round of rummy. I made my Coco June. Oh, hang on. Y'all, usually this yogurt is in mm, blueberry down. Mm -mm -mm. Usually, this yogurt is in health food stores, but it's called Coco June. Come on. There we go. No. There we go. Coco June, and this is the lemon elder flower. Um, it's organic cultured coconut. Yes, organic cultured coconut. Mm. So, for my dairy free folks out there, there is an option. I'm going to shut some of these lights off. Oh, and then we are going to make our way back to the bedroom. Okay. I want to get the rummy cards, and then you and I gonna. Eli's playing. Me, Molly, and Eli, maybe hey. Ben, are gonna play some rummy. Let's get ready to rummy. I thought that was kind of funny. Like, let's get ready to rummy. Ben's a teenager now. He doesn't laugh. I thought it was clever. <laughs> Was it not? Was it clever? I never said it wasn't. Come on, I laugh all the time. It just has to be funny. Mm. This <laughs> yogurt is so good. Oh, you need like, to get it? This is with no um. Well, family, I am texting Kyle while uh, reading my book, listening to some lo fi. And um, I am about to hit the hay. I'm going to talk to Kyle for a little bit. It's only 8.20 at night. I know, I'm pathetic. Um, but I usually get up at like 6. So I'm, I'm tired by this time of day. Yeah, Kyle texted me back. So I'm going to text him and I'll pick you up in the morning. Yeah, you are, guys. Yeah, I did not actually stage that. That just kind of happened there. Woo. Not a bad sleep though. Yeah, pretty quiet. Um, had a truck come in to my left or driver's side, I don't know, at some point with his air brake. Uh, but other than that, not too bad. It, well, I woke up super cold in here this morning. As you, I don't know if you can tell, but I turned the van on because I'm freezing just to turn the heat on. Hopefully when I get to Tucson, I'll be able to plug in, at least be able to run the heater early in the morning. Because other than that, I don't really need much power, but 
we got down to like 43 last night here so it was pretty chilly but yeah i'm gonna pack up get everything kind of torn down and uh go chase down a bit of coffee so i'm actually really happy that i bought these uh <laughs> makeshift curtains i don't know i really kept the place it's like super dark in here last night and i felt very private so good investment there and these little clips are super handy uh just they're really powerful and you can pretty much clip it onto anything so not a bad little setup for like 20 bucks so I'll, I'll take it we've had them in the past like we had at one time we had a curtain along this window here but over the couple years they've kind of disappeared as you know things tend to do in van life but yeah working out pretty good um very pleased so i actually put the starlink on the roof ran it through the passenger window hooked it on a hook over to the kitchen area and that because you have to have a 110 plug for the modem but yeah not too bad i'd still i still got it you know all right so we're all packed up and ready to go here at the cracker barrel in las cruces gotta hop on i-10 which is just over there and make the four hour trek to tucson well it's better than it was progress progress right oh lord Good morning, family. How are you doing today? Did you wake up well with Kyle? How was your sleep over there? Um, the kids and I had fun. We played rummy and then stayed up and talked for a little bit and then they went to bed. I just kind of needed my own space last night. I'm actually gonna make some uh, coffee, instant coffee, because I hate that coffee machine. I love that Kyle knows how to use that coffee machine. Um, I just, I find it to be a lot of steps. I'll just make my instant mushroom coffee. Uh, the enchiladas did make it into the sink. I'm gonna guess that they're there because one of the kids didn't want um, the dogs to get into it, which is totally fair point. Uh, I love them for that. But today, 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 I have a full day, a full day. Um, the kids are off of school for next week, actually. Their online school, um, is off for something they're doing in person. We're not going to be there. Um, and then the next week they will be off of school. So I've told them that they have to read one book each during this, uh, little hiatus. I think that's pretty fair. What, what would you say, Fram? Should they just have the time off? Or should, uh, do you think that they should read a book? Because I feel like reading is very important if you're not learning lessons. Also, I love to read as a kid. Did you, did you love to read, not love to read? We're gonna sort out our day and I'm gonna let you know what I've got going on. All right, so I did stop at old Starbies and secure myself a ice cold caffeinated beverage. I don't know, let me know guys, it's 43 degrees outside. I'm still drinking iced coffee because that's just the kind of stuff I do. I love this stuff. I was going to go to Dutch Brothers, it was actually one right across the street from where I stayed last night, but I needed to use the Wi-Fi for a short bit. Just stopped off here is what I'm currently seeing, you can probably tell I'm at a gas station, the Murphy Express. I spent, diesel was $2.96 a gallon and I spent I believe $54.50. Not too bad. Diesel, uh, thank God, has finally gone down. I haven't paid under $3 for diesel much in the last five years. so. I'm not gonna say election or anything, but yeah. Anyways, I'm just glad it's cheaper, but yeah, we're gonna hop on the road, hop on I-10 West, pretty much the duration of this drive. I got a story I wanna tell you here in a little bit that happened yesterday. It's kinda, kinda funny. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on this morning. Um, got a full tank of fuel, should get us all the way to Tucson, and uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day out here today. I think it's always like non-stop cleaning. Are you the cleaner in your home? Do you do the majority of the cleaning? Is there ever a time where you don't, where you don't clean all the things? Or is it because I live tiny? Seems to get, that's something, that's a downside about tiny living. The mess accumulates quickly. 
So we're, I guess, I haven't been on I-10 in a while. There's a U.S. Uh, Border Patrol inspection station here, right in the middle of I-10. I, I don't remember that. I, like I said, I usually go from Hatch, you know, there's a road, I can't think of the name of the highway, but basically it cuts across, you know, it's the shortcut to not have to go all the way to Las Cruces. So I haven't been this way in a bit. And I don't remember a Border Patrol. It's kind of interesting because, I mean, it must be a temporary thing because you can see uh, I-10 just goes straight through here, but it's like a mandatory inspection type thing. I, I don't know a lot about that. Like I say, this is once you get down here, I-10 and south, it gets a little, uh, they start doing this a little more. There is one um, on the way to uh, my buddy's place in uh, Tucson because he's off the, like, the one of the main drags down to Mexico. And there's one, not one going down, but coming back north to Tucson, you have to stop at one of these type of inspection stops. Usually it's kind of just that they wave, wave you through. I, I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't know exactly. I know what they're looking for most likely, but I don't know what like characteristics they're trying to spot in a vehicle. But yeah, they got like this big shed or big pole barn looking thing up here. It's usually not a big deal. I've never really had any issues at them. There's one going into California that I've stopped at. Like I say the one in Tucson, I've had to stop at a couple times, but I don't remember this one. I'm having to stop at this one. So I've decided I'm definitely not going to film going through. I, I don't want to give these guys any reason to give me a uh, give me more of a give me a hard time than I already are so I'll let you guys know what happens on the other side well that was easy enough so I roll up roll my window down and he gives me a thumbs up said have a good one all right cool I'll take it so I, I don't know because he has all these cameras when you're going pulling up to the to the when you're pulling up to the booth area so I'm assuming it scans your license plate kind of you know I'm sure there's some type of algorithm or whatever that maybe flags certain people I, I have no idea I don't know how any of that works but yeah easy enough I'll take it Tell me you're in the desert without telling me you're in the desert. So yeah, I just stopped off at the first rest area here once you get into the great state of Arizona. I, know, I, think I was hoping it would be like the Welcome Center, but it's definitely not, or at least if it is, it's pretty pretty pitiful one anyway. But yeah, we're still about 130 miles from Tucson, so I had to stop here and get rid of my morning coffee, but beautiful day here today. It's about 70, about 70 degrees right now, a little breeze from the east, but all in all, not a bad drive day thus far. But yeah, it's beautiful here. I'm pretty glad to be in a new state here for a few days. Hopefully this is my last stop before we get to Tucson. All right guys, so I have a little bit of a dilemma. So my plan is, so where I'm going in Tucson, they, they're pretty far from really anything, like food-wise. So I stopped at Trader Joe's, grabbed some food, and but I'm only one running one fridge, it's my issue. So I bought a lot of frozen stuff because I do have my little uh, portable cooktop with me. So I, the problem is I guess if I can fit it all because, yeah, I got chicken fried rice because I put ice in there. I don't have to have ice, I have to have food, so the ice may have to go. Fried rice, and I got some chicken gyoza pot stickers, some mandarin orange chicken. I got a bunch of things I've been wanting to try that I typically don't buy when, when I'm with the fam. I got some beef and broccoli. I got some gnocchi with some pasta sauce. Got me a little salad there. Got some hummus, some pickles, and then I got some organic garlic non crackers. This is uh, Trader Joe's version of Takis. These are really good. They don't have any dyes or anything like that in it. They seem to be, they're a tad more mild also than the Takis. Definitely more healthy for you. Little thing of olive oil to cook with. And I got a loaf of sourdough. So I did get to Tucson, no issues. Made really good time today. Um, 
Stockton had lunch. I had probably the best quesadilla I've ever had in my life. It's a quesadilla, it's a quesadilla, and it came with a birria dipping sauce. It had a salsa bar with some amazing stuff in it. Oh man, it was, I ate it up like, and I was like, oh my God, where did it go? But ran there, ran to Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna, I gotta run to Walmart, grab a couple of last minute things, and then Home Depot to grab some stuff to finish out the van. And uh, then I'll be headed to uh, my buddy's place and uh, we'll be parked for the next few days. But let me get all this, or attempt to get all this frozen. Let me show you real quick. So my issue is I got ice in there. I love ice. I love having ice for my water, but I don't have anywhere to put anything else. So I think what I'm gonna do is transfer it to this fridge, turn this one on, because I had it off, um, but I've gotta be able to store my cold stuff in there. So that's what I gotta do. You know the worst part about the snow, family? The worst part about the snow is the flipping mud. I swear I wipe these floors like five times a day. Right now though, family, after I got done wiping that up, you and I, we've got to get out to Goldie Barnes because we've got a project that has a deadline and um, I have got to get it done. So today, cheer me on. It has got to be done by today. Let me know. We can do this. We can do this. All right. So uh, kids are doing their thing. I'm going to go work. Hi, family. How's it going? I kind of got started without you. So my intention for my bus deke is to be able to make a video in here or in the new bus, wherever it is. But I can't really make a video in here right now because of all the other stuff that we have going on. Let me show you. I, there was a big mess over here. I got all of that kind of cleaned up. I still need to work over here. There's a ton of screws and there's a bunch of ratchet straps. I, I don't know where they all go, but they're in here. Then these are for donation. So I've got to get those in the Jeep to donation. Then I've got all of this stuff. This stuff might can wait though, because I really just need to get this area situated so I can make the video before Monday. Ooh, that wind is wild. <sighs> Eli's taken over my high C boots. They, um, are very durable, so we can we can speak to that. Just working on Eli putting them back and cleaning them. Kyle wants to make an art installation with the bottles, which um I think is pretty spectacular and really cool. We have to find a solution where to put them until he's ready to make said art installation. Oh my gosh, you've got to see this one. Look at this. Is this not just so cute? I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't know if it'll be in the bus teak or not, because I feel like it's super cute. <sighs> Clothes are a lot heavier than you think. Oh, these are awesome. Oh my gosh, I love these. They have doors on them. They're pants with doors. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. So what I'm gonna do for the bus teak is each week I'm gonna make a video. We'll have a separate YouTube channel and it's just gonna be a video of me trying on the clothes. And then on Mondays, I'm in the Facebook group. We will leave a link down below. Um, in the Facebook group, I will do a drop of all the outfits that were in the video. You don't have to purchase the whole outfit. It's all going to be listed by single piece. Um, so if you want to find out more information, head to the link for the bus teak in the description below. And I am pretty excited. <laughs> Well, we have all but made it. Left Tucson, we're south of Tucson. A little town called Tubac, Tubac, Arizona. But I, I told you guys I was gonna tell you a little story or a little something that happened to me yesterday on my way down. So I was rolling through Albuquerque. It um, wasn't rush hour exactly. It was probably like 3.30 or four o'clock. So just around that time. So I get over, I'm on the freeway, I-25 South and I got over in a lane and I there was a car or it was like a Jeep, like a, it was a Jeep Grand Cherokee. He was probably a couple hundred yards coming up. I could tell he was moving pretty quick, but I still felt like I had plenty of time. So I got over and this dude just comes flying up behind me and like, 
just waits till the very last minute, jams on his brake. If he's more than a couple feet from my rear bumper, I would be shocked. Then he just yanks the wheel to the right, gets in the middle lane, flies around me and flicks me off the whole time, and then gets in front of me, I don't know, maybe 100 yards in front of me, and kind of just slows down to my pace of speed. But I, like I said, I was doing the speed limit. He was probably, he was doing probably 20 over the speed limit when he went by me, but he slowed down. And then a couple miles later, you know, I thought it was kind of over with, and all of a sudden, I see his arm pop out of the driver's side window, and he holds up a red card, like a bright red card. I couldn't make out anything beyond what that. I was just like, and he held it out for probably a good 20 seconds. He puts his arm back in the car and then just speeds off, and I never see him again. So I tell Jen about this last night, and she, while we're on the phone, and she Googles it. And so, apparently, I think it was Reddit, somebody had a similar instance, and all they could compi comprise of it was the guy was a soccer person and threw out the red card as a way of letting me know he was angry or I was in the wrong or whatever whatever he was trying to get across. But uh, I don't know, let me know if you guys have had any similar experience or if I'm wrong, I'm just curious. I thought that was so wild and so bizarre. I'd never seen anything like that before. And I, I probably won't see anything like that again, but I thought that was such a bizarre thing to do. Um, the guy was just driving like a complete maniac, like totally just unnecessary driving. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. And if any of you ever had that type of similar experience before, let me know down in the, in the comment section. Well guys, we are at the end of the line here. We have made it to our destination here in Southern Arizona. I appreciate you guys tagging along with me on this little journey. I'll be here, not exactly sure how long I'm gonna be here for yet, but definitely a few days. I gotta get some stuff done and gotta get the uh, van ready to go, but turn this corner here in just a second. You might see a familiar sight right there, guys. But uh, that's gonna do it for today. Again, I appreciate you guys being here as always, and uh, don't worry. We'll see you guys here back in a couple days. And until then, guys, take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll talk soon. We are in need of your assistance in locating Jaden Barksdale, 11 years of age, missing from the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area. Jaden Barksdale was last seen near the 5100 block of North 38th Street at 3:30 p.m. on November the 16th, 2024. He was last seen with a 10-year-old Michael Miller, but police are unsure if they are still together. Jaden Barksdale was last seen wearing a tan SpongeBob t-shirt, jeans, and white tennis shoes. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Jaden, please reach out to the Milwaukee Police Department at 414-935-7272 and let's see if we can try to help bring Jaden home.